Welcome back Angular developers. Today on Angular Insights, we are taking an in-depth journey into implementing NGRX in Angular 17. We will cover each step in detail, perfect for those who want to thoroughly understand the state management in Angular. So let's begin. State management is key in maintaining a predictable state across your application. NGRX based on Redux principle provides a reactive state management solution. It uses a single store action to express state changes and reduces to handle these actions. Let's start by setting up NGRX. First, we need to add NGRX to our Angular project. So for that, add to your Angular project, open the terminal in the root directory of your project and then run this command ng add ngrx slash store and here provide no minimal so this no minimal flag ensures we get a full setup including files and boilerplate code which is beneficial for larger complex applications so this installation made changes in these files so first it added the dependency in the package.json and in the app.config it added a provide store function and it is using the reducers folder to get the reducers and meta reducers so it also created a folder reducers with the file name index in it so this is the base file that it, it has created now let's define our actions in a new file counter.action.ts first ag action would be increment make sure to import the create action function from ngrx store next we need the decrement create a decrement action and at the end we need the reset action so actions represent the different types of interactions a user can have with our counter we have defined three actions increment decrement and reset each with descriptive label next we create a reducer to handle the state changes in the counter dot reducer first let's understand the auto generated file that we have for the reducers this file sets up the foundations of our state management state is an interface representing the application state the reducers object will map our applications reducers and meta reducers are used for development mode checks next we will create a reducer for our counter in counter dot reducer dot ts file so let's do that okay in this I will export a constant initial state and then I will export constant counter reducer and we will create this reducer by using the create reducer function make sure to import the create reducer function from ngrx store and within that function I will pass few parameters one is initial state that we just created and then we will use the on function in the on function I will pass increment let me import the on function also we need to import the increment that we increment basically is the action that we created in our counter action so let's add or link our other actions as well we have the decrement action and at the end we need the reset action here so this will reset the state to the original that would be zero so the reducer is a function that updates the state based on the dispatched actions for each action we define how the state should change now let's integrate our counter reducer into the store so let's go back to our index file and in the reducer object i will simply add counter counter reducer make sure to import it from the counter reducer.ts file so we add our counter reducer to the reducers object this links our counter state and action to the ngrx store making it accessible throughout our application now let's link uh, all of this with our component so i will be using the app component.ts file for that so in this function first of all i need a property count observable make sure to import the observable and now use the constructor further we need to inject a service store to inject a service in standalone components you can simply use inject function and pass it the service that you want to inject we need to import the store next we will use this dot count is equal to this dot store dot select count next i will define few more functions increment and this will dispatch the increment action make sure to import this action from your actions file and similarly i will define two more functions this would be decrement and this is going to be reset now let's go to the app component.html file so 
this component manages our counter ui we inject the store service connecting the count property stream to our stores count state this method increment decrement and reset dispatch corresponding actions finally let's set up the components template so go back to the html file and add few buttons increment and add a click event and now add a div within that i will add current count and use the count property that we created in our component and use the async pipe and now add the other two buttons decrement and reset the counter so this template has buttons tied to our component methods and it displays the current count the async pipe subscribes to the count observable updating the ui with the latest counter so let's give it a quick try okay i made a mistake earlier it should be counter not instead of count make sure this is matching uh, with the property that you have added in your index.ts file where we are registering our reducers okay now increment it you can see that it is being incremented and if you click on decrement you will see that this would be dec decremented and you can click on the reset counter this would reset the counter back to the zero all right that's how you implement ngrx in angular 17 application to manage a counter state this example covers the core concepts of actions reducers and store dive into these concepts experiment with the counter and watch as your understanding of state management with ngrx grows for more angular tutorials remember to like subscribe and share happy coding and see you in the next video